Hello and welcome to a Heroes of the Storm how to play video. Today I'll be focusing on Hogger. This video is brought to you by my Twitch chat actually. A few people in chat asked for a Hogger video and how to play. And I told them I would do it for a certain sub push. And they hit it within a couple hours. So, here we are. Holding up my end of the bargain. If you are looking for more content, you can always drop on my Twitch at twitch.tv slash Trixler. And always let me know what you want to see on the YouTube. And I'd be down to put it together. All right, guys. So at level one, Five, I'm going to pick up Bones to Gnaw. Loot Horde creates a chunk of meat. One. When it lands while under the effect of meat, gain plus tw 10 armor. That is my D down here in the bottom right. I will be spamming that bad boy as much as I can. If I have a chance to pull out the D, I will use it. Right now. Bam. There it is. Getting my meat up. Getting my regen running. Doing my best to harass a little bit. One of the big things about Hogger is that he has incredible sustain with his meat. He's a very solid top laner. In fact, that's why I run him in most ranked matches when I am playing him. So you'll see me run up there soon. I just want to help them clear us out real quick. The bottom lane is being pushed because our team is crazy. The next ability, his E, which you can see here, is called Hog Wild. And Hogger will start spinning and bounce off the walls like a pachinko ball. The more rage he builds up, the more damage he does, basically. How you build rage? You throw W's out. You hit Q's on enemy heroes. You auto-attack them. You take damage. Mostly anything you do as Hogger will build it up. All you really need to do is focus on that bar right underneath your health bar. Now, I will tell you that health bar, or I'm sorry, that uh, little orange bar below will disperse quite quickly after a team fight. So make sure you are aware when you're using it. But luckily for you... Augur builds it up pretty quickly. All right, so what I'll be doing this lane is trying to push out as much as I can. This build in particular that I am doing does spike up around level 7. It's when I'll get a certain talent. We'll make sure to talk about that later on. One of the best ways for wave clear, early at least, for Hogger is to make sure to go to the back of the minion line and then E your way back. It's safe, and you should be good to go. I recommend checking the minimap before you do that. Make sure there's three to four heroes laying around. Also, another tidbit. Every time that you Q at an enemy hero into a wall, you get extra damage by Hogger. Uh, I believe it's 169 that scales up as the game goes on, so pretty decent damage. Choose a talent. Come on over here to help out my teammate. We're going to pick up Hogger's Joggers, which will give you movement speed, which is huge on Hogger, in my opinion. Speaking of, I think it's a kill here. A yep. Blow. So your loot horde actually does a little bit of damage when it falls down. You can spike it up later on if you want to. Uh, but don't really need to, in my opinion. I'm going to try and get this engaged here. Ah! Nope. No engage. Alright, so Hogger Jogger, while above 30 rage, I get 10% moon speed and healing received when above 50 rage increases bonus by 15%. So I'll be looking at that bar and trying to make sure that I proc for heals and such. That also caps with your well as well. So if you get in a fight near your turret, you can actually run to your well and get some additional healing. So make sure that whenever you're Trying to get healed up. You're working that in when possible. I'm gonna pressure a little bit here. I am not afraid to take trades with Hogger because Hogger has no mana. Like everyone else in the game here. So I will do my best to make sure that I apply that when necessary. I think I can get this kill. One second. See? Oh, just barely missed. I think I may have actually lost damage due to Diva. Won't play Diva. Alright, I need to leave before I end. And I ended, but we got the trade. I just went full quick match and I'm okay with that. Not really. Never be full quick match team, okay? Alright, don't be your heroes player. Be a button masher. That was a mistake. Alright, we're gonna get to level 7 here. Oh, this is a perfect opportunity for me to point out level 7. I'll be getting Dense Blasting Powder. So, a lot of folks pick up other talents, especially Garbage Fire, uh, which can help with the slows, and of course seeing red's helpful too for extra damage. But I really like the control this brings to the top lane, and uh, of course battles later on. What it does is you can throw it out on dynamite, Q it, and you'll get three to proc out. Oh shit, I didn't pick it. Oh, I didn't pick it. Oh my god, I did all that build up for nothing. Oh my god, I'm embarrassed. Absolutely embarrassed. All right, I'll show you later. Uh, basically, the point I get it is for seeding potential and, of course, wave flare. Here we go, I'll do it again. So you hit the Q, and it bounces off some bombs there too, and those apply it slow at the same time. So it's great for peel and great for chase if you can get the uh, flank. All right, so we have Gazlo working on top lane. I'm gonna try and set up a little control spot here for Hogger. Let's see if I can get the right angle. Oh, I've been invaded, of course. Hey guys, what's up? 
Well, I wasn't trying to do this. Uh, Hogger has the benefit compared to most characters that if you can have a wall to utilize, you will have the ability to clear out mini camps. I need to try and see if I can find a wall for that to be shown off here. Oh, is that a kill? Yeah, you're nay. You got that, Murky? Control Murky gone. And the Dragon Knights I'm gonna try and clear up his clones in the back. Forward. There we go. Well done. Yeah. Let me see if I can do it down here. I mean, it's quick match. Oh, my teammates are ending. We're fine. Although I think they're ending. It'd be what it'd be. Let me get my E up and see if I can do this down here. So Hagoro bounced back and his tick rate is actually quite high. So you can use that to your advantage to line up a wall and just bounce off of it and clear out minions. So try and find your angles on any map. This is pretty easy on maps like BOE and such. And you'll just go forever. You'll never stop. Which I think is pretty cool. And I kind of hope they don't nerf it. It's cool to have characters and heroes that have little overpowered sentiments. Been nice to play around with a little bit. Okay, so I got Hortipole at level 10. I haven't played Shockwave, so I can't really talk about the benefit of it. But the great thing about Hortipole is it actually has vector targeting. So if you can find an engage that you're looking for, you can actually make sure that you land on the side that you want to land. Just hold R, left click, and then hold that left click, and then let go where you didn't go. Super easy. So it gives you a lot of control in fights. Which n would not be something that I would uh, really frown upon. Truly. What you just saw me there saw me do there was a little hogger trick that I like to do a lot. If you're pushing with a wave or have large rage, you can actually bounce off the gate that your opponent is running to. Just go in a straight line, and usually with one bounce and minions, you might take one shot. It's pretty crazy. So I'll do it pretty often. I'll just run into the gate and I'll just bounce off of it and try to get a little bit of damage in when I'm winning the harass wars. A little tip for you to try out. Looks like we have a gank here on the right side. I'm going to go ahead and drop a Q here and then try to position it to where I get a knockoff. Didn't quite do it. But my job as Hogger is to always just apply the pressure to the back line. Make sure no major CC hits me if possible. And I'm dropping bombs to be really annoying. Got a proc there. I'm going to go ahead and all in. Pop my R so I get some healing. Drop my D so I get some healing as well. And now they're all running away from me. Pretty strong. I'm going to do a Q. I'll keep harassing with this. Ooh, I may have just screwed up, honestly. Maybe not. They walked into my slow. We're good. And all I'm doing is wave clearing constantly. I want to have the minion pressure to help out. I see a fight happening in the top right corner. It's on Gaslo. I'm going to try and come help out here. Oh my god, that Illidan went all in, didn't he? Let's try and get the knockoff against the wall. We did. I'm going to hit E because she's probably going to run this way. Try and catch her off of it. Hmm. If I had better positioning, I could have probably stopped her. Well, the end didn't get picked. And we're working towards level 13. I'm going to go ahead and tap. Because Diva's going to refresh. Just kidding. I have full health because I regen so freaking much. I'm going to get Bloodthirst at level 13. It actually synergizes with my level 20 that I'm going to be picking up. No control. So I can go to a fight, get massive rage, and then apply damage afterwards and get some decent healing. Which is pretty nice to me. I'm going to go ahead and all in this. And screw up. What? <laughs> totally calculated escape. Yes. You guys totally meant to do that. For sure. I actually thought I was going to bounce to the wall and then kill the false stab. And I screwed up. Those angles are kind of hard to get in the middle of a fight. But don't be afraid to commit to the wog. And that's wild hog combined together. For those that didn't know. Alright. Got some decent peel there. Flying slows were necessary. Level 13 is here. So as a reminder, you get healing on your E after that level 13, as well as your auto attacks. So you want to try and work those in as much as possible if you're playing this type of build. Remember before you move into a fight to use your D so you get your armor. So anytime I think I'm about to fight, I'll always D, I'll grab my meat. Let's go ahead and kill these when rage is high. Decent damage. Although I think I'm missing this one. Hey, look at that! Totally calculated for sure. May want to consider invading soon. I'm going to go ahead and look to do that. I'm going to ping and let my team know that I'm going. So on them and decide if they want to come. Probably won't. Ooh, he vaulted. We're going in for the engage then. See how close I can get into it. Nice. Got the hit. 
be behind him. And we're gonna go for the E. I'm gonna not be able to chase that. Let's go back to the fight. I took the angle incorrectly. I thought they would go right instead of left. Alright, Ilden. Out here hunting then. Let's go ahead and peel on the back line. That is a massive maw. Can I do anything with that? Probably not. Let's E at least. Okay, not too shabby. But I want to cut off his exit. Coming in here to interrupt Falset. Tried to get his E. Got a Gus. We'll throw out this. Bam. Easy smash. And Diva's gone, so I'm not going to try and fight that. Alright, let's rotate. Quad kill. My team is getting the push bottom. Let's grab Giants bottom left. Gonna go ahead and get Berserker. Anytime I hit a Q and I believe a W. Let me double check. Set green blow and easy throw dynamite. Yep. Never mind do that. I increase the next damage of my next auto attack, which synergizes with my 13, gives me more proxy healing, and I like those type of follow through attacks, so I always have. I know my build is a little unorthodox, but it gives you decent damage. Pretty okay siege. It allows you to have a lot of control in the fight. One thing you should be aware about is don't be afraid to spam this thing. It's only a 50 second cooldown right now. In fact, I'm assuming it's going to get nerfed soon. Uh, just because of how strong it is. The cooldown is so low that you can just spam it. You get meat out of it, which gives you, of course, the armor that I have built up at my level 1. Gonna throw some damage on her. Keep that armor going. She's gone a little bit too far here. I'm going to go hit the false set because he probably wants some auto gust. Interrupt him. I'm going to charge towards this Vala, throw some slows at her, and come back to the fight. No engage for four seconds because I spammed my stuff earlier, but we don't have to tell anybody about that. Oh, uh, what? Okay. Interesting. Let's not come back into the turret here. See this. Decent damage. And I think Vala died in the back line. Cool. Continue pushing forward here. Got a siege, and we have Gazzle doing Gazzle things in the top lane. I'm going to go ahead and pop my R here for heals. And I'm going to try and get this fort killed off, because I'm tired of looking at it. It's 11 minutes in the game. My god, how's it not dead? I don't want to be a dragon, because a dragon's not hogger. So I'm just going to go ahead and say I'm going this way. i got to defend this. It's really important. Murky can have it. Murky's got the dragon. Nice. Make Good stuff. And again, you have no mana, so spam your abilities like crazy. If you're in no danger of being in a team fight right away, don't be afraid to just walk up and clear some stuff, you know? Like, you have so much healing and regen. As long as you don't get five man gank, you should be alright. I will say that there are tanks like Diablo and ETC that can be quite threatening Smell against this character. Smell. So be aware of that, because that is definitely something that you will have to worry about. That beast I think I'm about to get in trouble, beloved. actually. Not anymore. Let's go ahead and pop my meat. I need to back out, I think. Or we can go back in, like a crazy boy. Hell yeah. <laughs> Once you learn the angles on Hogger, and you just let it rip, it feels so good. I'm not going to lie, they did a good job with this character. Really hope it doesn't get nerfed. Oh, that was a bad angle, wasn't it? Yeah, that's okay. All right, so we're gonna set up for 20 and then I wanna force a fight. Remember that synergy I was talking about at level 13? At 20, I'm getting no control, which I will chase enemies with Hog Wild. And remember that I picked up that 13, uh, which should allow for me to heal up. So let's go ahead and head to the fight, and hopefully I get multiple values because of Samuro being on the field. My trick and hope is to at least be around 60-70% to 70 rage before I pog that off so I get more healing. Okay, I see a couple people bottom. No dragon available, so they actually shouldn't be this far up. I'm not sure why they are. I'm trying to get procs where I can here. Alright, let's hog it up. And the cool thing about this is it'll actually chase a Samuro. Well so he can't escape from me. That also happens against heroes like Phoenix. When Phoenix teleports, uh, he'll just straight up go the distance with no problems. Oh, uh, okay. You say so, bud. 
Okay. Gonna get ready for a push middle, I think. There's no point in being on this bridge. I'm just being fancy now. Hugger does make you feel like you have a lot of control in the fights, which is really nice. All right, we want to eat from this. I'm dropping D. Ooh, this swallow might actually get the kill on me. Maybe I can be saved by Zagara? Nope. My fault. Overextended. I thought I had the rotation from my teammates, but they went the long way. Can they get the dragon? Probably. Nice. Good stuff. But you can see the damage and what this character is capable of doing. Obviously, the healing on himself is ridiculous, especially if you do this build. Doing 40k damage. I'm out damaging Li Ming, Zagara. And I have the most experience. Like, this character is very, very fun as a side laner. And it's nice not to rely on your healer. You can kind of play around your uh, your own self regen. My assumption is if he does get nerfed, it's going to be on a Z. Well, my team's doing what they can here. Good shot, team. Oh my god, that Gazlo was just committed. I still have not played the new Gazlo. He looks ridiculous to me. All right, I'm gonna head bottom. That's actually a really good place for me to fight. I'm down with that call. We're gonna be missing Gazlo, but eh, who cares? It's Gazlo. Uh, maybe I should push middle. I think my team has that under control. Dude, this Murky's positioning on his egg is ridiculous. Kudos, but Jesus, man. Game in her. Diva's being ganked bottom. Let's go see if we can help out with this fight at all. I do see a Vala. I'm gonna go for the Vala. Try and slow her down as much as I can. Oh, God! Oh, God! What the fuck? I have never seen that before! Yep, totally count, for sure. Let's go to my meat if I can. Got some meat. Although I am a little bit worried about everything I'm doing right now. What the hell just happened? Let's try and get a wall bop here. Okay. Got some healing in a few seconds. Gonna throw down my bombs for delaying them. Three seconds, two seconds. All right, I'm ready to aggro. Let's do it. Big slows on the back line. We got a murky flank. I'm looking at that Samuro. He's actually the scariest part to me. I'm going in, I think. Come on. Come on. Earn his power and destroy your enemies. Ooh, did I screw up your combo? I'm really sorry about that. I'm gonna help. Alright, let's go ahead and spin. Let's see what happens. <laughs> God, it's so goofy. We should back up. I'm going too hard, and it's murky. Let murky do his thing. Oh, false is actually stopping the dragon. Are they okay? Do they need me? I think Falsa's about to flank me. Oh, Falsa's going that way. I should technically be helping them. But I got the Giants. Can't win the game without Murkamps, right? It's just how Heroes works. That's what they said on Reddit anyways, and they're right about everything. Okay, let's clean this up. Big siege powers. I got my hog spinny thingy in three seconds. Trying to keep my rage up and ready for that fight. This diva is definitely gonna drop her bomb soon. Jesus. Okay. All right, diva. I get it. You're doing the thing that you do. All right, I'm just gonna F this. Nice. Big spins, big spins, big spins. I want out though. Dude, I just got auto attacked to death, but Li Ming should get 14 resets. What the heck? Li Ming only got one reset. What the? This game should be over. All right, well, your boy's out here anting, but at least I'm doing damage. Look at this. This is, this is bonkers, dude. I'm trying not to say what every freaking Twitch streamer says, which is, uh, huggers is bonkers, but he's pretty crazy, dude.
All right, so we'll have camps pushing in the top. We'll have giants in the bottom lane. We should be able to end this game soon. Um, this Vala has wised up and started auto attacking me, so I'm gonna be a bit more careful. In terms of counters, auto attackers are really good, and hard CC really, really is annoying for Hogger. Anything that can lock me down like twice in a row is usually a kill. Like a Diablo, uh, Uther can be quite devastating as well if they're able to hit it. I mean, at that point, you have to be a bit more careful with your E, but. Just something to consider if you're looking for some kind of counters. Dude, this Illidan really likes to use his hunt. He just drops that. He has nothing. Alright, let's see if we can finish this game. It won't be long before the shrines are ready for the taking. I would like to take this, I am in. Let's do it. We could just try and kill top lane actually. Got uh, the Yildin locked down? Hmm. Alright, I have to back up. She's doing the stop. And CC everyone. We created space. I'm happy. Night camp feels good. The power of sun and moon. I guess we can push this in. This what the hell? Is she still doing this shit? What the hell? She's still doing it. Oh god. Alright. Well, boss has gaming, I guess. The combo here? Where's the rest of my team at? Are they here? I need to eat because I need some healing. I'm just gonna try and bounce around where we can. Oh god! Hmm. Where was the rest of our team? Leeming top right, Gazel bottom? Huh. Well, I guess if Leeming cleans it up, I'm happy. And she is. Okay. Get the dragon and please end. I'll make it a fool of myself. All right, what else do I need to know about Hogger? What have I missed here, team? I don't think I've missed much. If you have any questions, YouTube below. If you're looking for other content that I stream, I got an Oxygen Not Included series that's out that I really love doing. And I have some Hearthstone Battlegrounds, which are some of my favorite games. Another thing as well, if you like Hades, my friend Walter and I are racing each other on Christmas Day. And, uh... We are on our third leg of this best of three race. I won the second one, he won the first one. And the winner gets to yell about it for the rest of our lives. When we're old, we can yell about how they beat us. Or beat each other. Eat something. Hopefully my team will kill this core. Okay, good. Thanks for watching. That's how you play Hogger. Enjoy. I'll see you guys around next time. See you later. Well deserved, heroes. Thank you.